Hey everybody, what's going on riders? Another ride home review back in the normal time at night. Uh, this week I chose to review Spider-Man Homecoming. I know it's up to no great surprise to anybody. However, uh, okay, uh, let's get right into it. Spider-Man Homecoming is basically, it takes place a couple months after his appearance in the last Captain America movie, The Civil War, and is continuing uh, of being Spider-Man and what's going on in his world and fighting the evil that's in his pocket of the universe. So Spider-Man stars uh, Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr., John Favreau, Zendaya, Michael Keaton, and Marissa, uh, Marissa Tomei, and directed by John Watts. What did I like about this movie? Well, I thought it was a really well done movie. The story was to the point. Um, the cast was excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, they really did a good job in, in developing that cast and also having a bit of a homage to the to one of the original cast of Iron Man. Um, and so almost like it seemed like a passing of the torch a little bit having John Favreau and Gwyneth Paltrow and and you know, Robert Downey Jr. as part of this movie really had that feel of uh, passing the torch a little bit um, and so and Michael Keaton as the villain Michael Keaton has just been on fire uh, as of late he was a great villain um, I didn't really when I first heard who the villain was I'm like yeah I don't know about this but they pulled it off and they had a good backstory for it um, and, and yeah and so I thought that that was was really cool and introduced some new characters some new uh, Marvel characters into the into the uh, into the universe so watch out for what's coming next on that on that end um, I think that's pretty cool uh, what didn't I like um, well, let's let's stick with what I liked. Um, um, I thought the humor was on point. Um, I, I thought Tom Holland is a really good Spider-Man, and I liked what they did with him this time. Instead of giving him the full origin story, keeping him as a teenager, that type of deal, having him, it just, um, it just was really really cool. He did a wonderful job, and he's he's a really good Spider-Man and really good Peter Parker. Now, what I didn't like about the movie was I thought that parts of the story were a little cliche, a little predictable. Um, there were some good twists, but I don't know. I didn't. It, the story didn't wow me. Um, and I know they probably tried to keep it as simple as possible, family friendly, so on and so forth. But I thought it could have. Uh, uh, I don't know. It just. It just. Eh, it was just just subpar with some of some of the interaction between the villain and 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 Peter um, another thing I didn't really like was uh, and I might just be a purist in that form but uh, the technology the spider suit technology really bothered me a little bit um, I th there were some funny parts with it but for the most part I was just like I don't know I just didn't really didn't really like that as much um and i didn't like the fact that he didn't have or, or didn't show that he had a a sixth sense a spider sense for for that so there's that um what to watch for uh the captain america bits they're hilarious uh so check those out look, look for those those are great um as for the other Easter eggs, those are for very various fans. But all in all, it was a really good movie. Um, you know, just a little bit of the the story that I didn't really care for it and put it over the top. But what did you think if you saw it? Uh, it was well put together. I didn't know the director that well, but just let me know what you think. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our podcast if you like listening to these on the go or on Anchor. But uh, yeah. So check us out on Facebook, and we will see you next week. All right? Take care.